I am Ra. I come with great news to give you about a new reality and cosmic birth, which will be creating if you choose, of course. Dearest light workers, the energies will be intense, electric, passionate, turbulent, creative. Stay in your center of light and peace and stay calm and serene. Walk your path with grace and dignity and with unconditional love. Everything is changing and rebirthing on very deep levels. The elementals are making passionate love as they rebirth themselves at subatomic and deep levels. Dearest ones, you are not the beings that you were 10 years ago. Actually, not even three years ago. You are different. The earth is different. You are lighter and brighter. You are the human angels who are rebirthing a new earth and a new society. Flow with the energies of peace, joy and love. I am Ra. Tap into and activate your inner shaman. Activate and awaken more of the magic lying dormant even within. Those who lead can feel they finally got rid of any remaining dark resistance, cords, attachments, negative karma, etc. Breaking through the veil of illusion. You are really breaking free from all 3D systems now. It is done. The energy matrix that opens their hearts and clears their dormant negative attitudes. And now they feel and you will feel the extent of pain in the mass consciousness integrating new energies must be done quickly to avoid another mental disturbance. Yes. And they are clearing mental and uh, mass consciousness. Also clearing those accepting the tasks. Purify yourself with giving awareness to others. That is important. Beloved brothers and sisters, in blessing we reach out our hands and touch your hearts in loving oneness with all our being. I am Ra. This is a call for planet healing. You all saw what happened in Atlantis with abuse of power. And that is exactly what is happening right now with thousands being killed in war. We need love. We need forgiveness, compassion, the universal flow. The universe in this is more or less a source of energy which stays constantly in motion in its search for openings. When a door stays closed, the energy keeps on searching for another opening. You could compare it with water that keeps on flowing and stays in motion, searching for a place where she can freely flow through. But like the water, you are perfectly capable to control it and to lead it into good grounds. You don't realize that energy finds her own way without the ready-made ways and answers. All energy flows exactly where it is needed. And love is, is the highest and most pure form of energy. But also love knows its limitation. When love is no longer pure and is controlled and her course no longer freely flows, and it has been restricted, 
Love knows no doubt, no, no hesitation. Love doesn't negotiate. Love knows neither limitations and blockades. Love knows no respect of persons. Love is not an optional subject. Love is the source of universal energy, the origin from which it originates and to which all will return in time. And now that the longest day and the shortest night have taken their turn, the energy will be such that new developments will arise. All will be aimed on making choices to let the energy flow freely. For some of you, it will be this energy is aimed on guidance of others. Their personal conclusion is full scale at this moment, and they have space to give it new impulse. In this, you do not stand alone. Dear brothers and sisters as well, we as your beloved guide stand beside you. Do not be afraid to ask us for advice when you need it. Others will not be able to use this space. They desire insight and choices with which they see themselves confronted will have impact and sometimes look as if they are without prospect, but have faith in the universal energy and the origin of love. I and many are standing beside you. You only have to look beyond the moment to feel our loving arms. In all love and in all trust, we unconditionally stand beside you and reach out to you and touch your hearts in loving oneness with all of our being. I am Ra, beloved brothers and sisters. In this coming period, energy is focused on giving constructive space and to see openings. To those who see further, they will see the created space, but it is for each of them individually to create space for themselves and to take part in this constructive space. Step into the moment itself, that is what we ask of you. From there, it will find its way unconditionally. At this time, the sun aligns with Sirius in the early morning sky in the Northern Hemisphere, an event that the ancient Egyptians knew as the rising of the star of Sirius. The Earth's two suns align in the sky, signifying the opening of the Sirius Stargate as powerful energies and codes are transmitted to the blue star Earth from the blue star sun of Sirius. Yes, beloved, it is not only Earth that is moving towards a cycle of rebirth and renewal. It's also the galaxy and cosmos itself. Your work, though, as inhabitants or children of Earth, is to awaken to your true work as co-creators and to ready to co-create the new Earth with Source. That is what you are here for. The choices that you make now will determine that what you will create with Source. It is time to release all illusions and to start creating from absolute truth and light. Know, dearest ones, that as the light intensifies in your galaxy and on your Earth, only creations of light and unconditional love will take root and survive. All that is based in fear and exploitation will be revealed for what it is and rejected by those who seek peace, love and joy in their lives. Dearest souls, what a gift this is. For the first time, you, humanity, as human angels, are privileged to co-create with spirit. What you choose and what you create at this time will lay the foundations for the new cycle and the new earth. So we cannot stress enough. Now is the time to choose life, love, peace, joy and beauty. Now is the moment to affirm 
who you are and to create from that essence. The earth awaits your choices. You are the creators. We in the angelic realms are here to support your choices and your creations. We rejoice when we see the positive and loving choices that you are making in your work as co-creators of the new earth. So in these months, November to December, as you enter into the new energies, we see many of you guided to certain places and rituals of love. Many have chosen these times to honour the energies of opening of new stargates in the Earth's galactic reconnection process. Others have chosen the dates as their moment for global reconnection as they have been led by their inner guidance. We ask you to honour these moments as they are powerful energies. I am Ra, creating in perfect balance and through sacred union. Dearest ones, in June you honoured the Divine Feminine and the energies of the Triple Goddess in July and into August. The Divine Feminine came forward to meet and be with her Divine Counterpart, the Divine Masculine, to create with the perfect fire of sacred flame, known as the Twin Flame. This is signified in the skies of your world by the sacred union of the two energies in the rising of Sirius. For Sirius represents the energies of Isis, the Great Mother, and the Sun represents the male energies of Ra and Isis. In this sacred union is the perfect balance of passion and creative creativity to co-create with spirit. You and I, no matter how small or insignificant we might see ourselves, are called to assist in the greatest healing and acceleration of human evolution ever experienced by a living being. We are being called to help those who may have misused their power in the past and for those who are being hurt by this misuse of power. I am Ra. It is now time for great compassion and great forgiveness, offered in a space of non-judgment, without ego and from the heart. The wrongs created in the past were done by those the best they could in an environment that did not reveal truth adequately. We are being called into action and to put use the light, power and unconditional love. It is time for us to come fully into realising how magnificent we truly are. Our first time of defence against unhappiness is refusing to believe that we are victims of the bad intention of others. The formula is, do not blame the trigger. The world is full of triggers. In fact, life is designed like that, so that we truly we will truly practice we can be grateful for all those triggers as without them we might never recognize our own unfortunate reaction you who have the light what are you doing with it so we have been to this place before and failed this time we will not fail we are victorious, but it is not time to sit back in the spiritual easy chair and wait for the glorious future to arrive. We must take action. Spirit helps those who help themselves. So when two or more are gathered, I am there. Humanity, the earth and universe must work together to bring about a great universal synchronization. Yes, I am Ra, as you journey further and further to feel the love that has never been felt before being born into this world. A whole other world begins to open up for you. 
you see beyond the veils and some things you see will be upsetting to your mind. It will literally make you mad that you ever allowed yourself to be programmed in such a way. No, we did not know any better at the time and it nearly sucked us all dry, made you forget who you truly were that we are a soul in a body, not the other way around. We are also becoming aware of the fact that our spirit is eternal. It never dies because that is the life force of all that exists. So when you die, you don't lay there until it's time to come back to source <laughs> in which we all come from. We go there instantly unless we feel we have unfinished business in the physical, which is basically based on fear, like a horrible death, such a murder, for instance. No, this journey can be a trip at times, yet exciting and frustrating because it's something we never taught it about ourselves. If you do research, make sure it's from a crit credible source one that is not for money or clicks most of all enjoy life dear ones we can't solve the world's problems at the same level of consciousness by those who want us to continue being programmed to create a reality of separation and destruction you have many tools to take with you on new earth for the newly awakened ones I have enjoyed spending time with you today, sharing and giving you some messages. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I wish you peace and love in your heart always. Until we speak again, namaste. And I, Rosalie, have enjoyed as well. I'm always humbled. Uh, yeah, with Ra, channeling with Ra, and I say namaste and thank you so much for listening here today. It's been very interesting, I must say. Thank you so much.